Hello peeps, it is Night Dagger. Um, this is where I get to say, and yes, I'm scruffy as hell, and I realize that. I'm sure there's going to be at least one comment. Whatever. Um, this is where I get to say I was going to upload Terraforma Craft episode 11 tonight, and now I'm not going to. The reason for that is I got to work today, and I opened up MSN, and I saw in the news that Microsoft had acquired Mojang. Which means Microsoft has acquired Minecraft. Um, that in itself didn't surprise me, but I went to Twitter to see what the Twitter reaction was, and I saw a tweet by Captain Sparkles indicating that he had a concern about the entire thing, because in Microsoft's terms of service, it says that you cannot monetize any of their games. Minecraft is now an extension of that. Now, I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube. To put it into point of reference, I make about 2% of what I would need to make in order to go full-time. Um, that saves me from having to spout out actual values, but yeah, I, I, I make pocket change. So it doesn't really affect me that much, but yeah. So until we know what's going on with all of this, I'm not uploading any Minecraft content because my channel's already got two strikes on it because of the stupid community guidelines bullcrap back in March. That doesn't drop off until November. So I'm towing the line on this one. Unfortunately, that means no Minecraft until we get clarification from Microsoft as to whether or not Minecraft is going to be included in that or whether it's going to be an exception. Now, I fully expect there's going to be an exception because it... I, I can see a lot of good things coming out of this merger, and I can see some potentially bad things coming out of this merger. Um, the good things. Microsoft has a bigger team than Mojang. They have more money that they can throw at development. Hello, kitty. Hi. I'm sure they enjoyed that view very much. Um, but that's something that Mojang... You know, Mojang had money. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. Mojang had money. But Microsoft has more people, more talents. One thing that I fully expect to see coming to Minecraft is DirectX integration, which is going to be an amazing thing. Because there are a lot of people out there who... Yeah. Hi, Fippy. You are a cam whore. Um, there are a lot of people out there whose video cards work better on DirectX than they do on OpenGL. And there is a fly buzzing around my head who's pissing me off. Um, eat it. Hi. Um, I'm getting distracted by the cat. So I could see that as being one potentially good thing. Um, maybe we'll finally get that modding API we've been promised for how many versions. Um, however, I could see some bad things. Um, if they wanted to be real dicks about it, if they wanted to pull a real dick move, they could not only say that YouTubers are no longer allowed to monetize anymore, but since it's their copy, since it's their intellectual property, that they now get all ad revenue from every Minecraft video in existence. That would piss off a lot of YouTubers. And I don't think that's going to happen, because... Microsoft may be, let's face it, Microsoft may be greedy, but they're not dumb. And Minecraft has always been about the community, it's been about the gameplay. Let's face it, YouTube is, um, YouTube is Minecraft's advertising service. Well, you, let's players, uh, Twitch streamers, made YouTube what it is. And it, I don't think Microsoft is going to spend $2.5 billion buying a game and then cut off its main source of advertisement. Especially when we're essentially free advertisement from Microsoft. They're not paying us. We're getting paid from ad revenue. So they don't even have to pay for the advertisement. Somebody in Microsoft's upper echelon, I think, is going to see those dollar signs. And I think we're going to be okay. Um... I could, however, see one potentially major downside, and this is one that's going to piss me off, as well as a bunch of other people. Um, I was an alpha purchaser of Minecraft. I think I was one of the first 100,000 people to buy it. I might have been one of the... It, 
I know I was one of the first 500,000 people to buy it. But I bought the game back when it was in alpha. And one of the things that we were promised by Mojang back then was that if there were ever any expansion packs or any new content for the game, we would get it for free. I do not expect that to be honored. Um, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some pay-to-play DLC that came out for it in the near future, at least on, you know, Microsoft's consoles. Um, I don't think that'll come to the PC because, I mean, the PC's moddable. And if they come out with DLC, someone will just make a mod that does the same thing. <laughs> Why bother, right? Um, um, I could see Microsoft potentially going a little too far in code optimization and changing it away from Java. That essentially would kill the modding community because the modding community exists only because Minecraft is coded in Java and Java is an easy language to work with and to tweak. If they switch to C++ or something like that, it would improve the performance of the base game, but it would make modding it a nightmare, unless they bring about the fabled mod API, which is the proverbial white elephant. Um, let's see here. I could also see them taking the high road and not really doing a whole heck of a lot with Minecraft as it is, but coming out with Minecraft 2 and making that a Microsoft exclusive that's only available on Windows platforms and the Windows Phone and the Xbox 360 and Xbox One and all that. That, I think, is probably their smartest move. But one thing that does have me concerned is that Microsoft has always been really, really bad about uh, connecting with gaming communities and doing what the community wants. Generally, if the community wants one thing, Microsoft tends to do exactly the opposite. That's where my main concern comes into play here, is Microsoft is a multi-billion dollar company who just spent $2.5 billion buying one of the most successful, most popular game franchises in existence, and nobody knows what the fuck they're planning with it. And that has a lot of us kind of worried, including me. Hence why I'm not going to be uploading any Minecraft-related content until we get clarification on Microsoft as to whether or not they're going to play hardball. I don't expect they will, but I, I am not going to take any chances with it. So I will try to continue uploading content to YouTube in the meantime. Uh, probably do some different games. Got a couple of series that have been kind of working out some details on getting a little bit of voice acting set up. Yeah, I know voice acting from me. Imagine that. Um, just wait till you see it. It's going to be great. Um, but, uh, hair. Anyway, um, I will still be doing Minecraft on Twitch. I am not sponsored through Twitch TV. I don't make any ad revenue there, so that little clause in the terms of service doesn't apply to me at Twitch. So I'll still be doing Crash Landing on Twitch TV. And I might occasionally export a clip and just not monetize it. I usually don't monetize clips that I export from Twitch anyway, because I never know what's playing in the background. And I don't want to get copyright flagged. So in a nutshell, that is why we're not getting a Terraformer Craft episode tonight. And that's why we're not going to get any Minecraft episodes from me whatsoever until we find out if Microsoft is going to honor Mojang's policies on monetization. Because Mojang actually had built right into their terms of service a clause that specifically said, yes, you are allowed to monetize YouTube. As a matter of fact, we encourage it. We like the free advertisement. Or something to that effect. I'm paraphrasing. But... But yeah, until we see whether or not Microsoft is going to honor that, I'm not uploading any Minecraft-related content. I will, upload, I will upload other content. I will be doing streaming on Twitch. But we'll have to see where it goes. Um, in a nutshell, that is my thoughts on the whole Microsoft merger. Honestly, I don't expect too much to change. Microsoft is many things, but they're not dumb. And they wouldn't have blown $2.5 billion on a franchise just to kill it. And if they mess with the community too much, they're going to kill it. So, despite their failings in the past, I think we can expect things to go forward pretty well. But, until we have confirmation of that, I'm not taking any risks. And I don't know how many people are. But, hey, we'll see where it goes. Um, I think I've rambled long enough. Later, peeps.